We are given that f of x is equal to cos of ln x. Therefore, f of 1 upon x is equal to cos of ln of 1 upon x, which is equal to cos of ln of x raised to the power minus 1. But ln of x raised to the power minus 1 is equal to minus ln x. Therefore, f of 1 upon x is equal to cos of minus ln x, which is equal to cos of ln x because cos of minus of an angle is equal to cos of that angle. Similarly, by replacing x with y, f of 1 upon y is equal to cos of ln y. Now, f of x upon y is equal to cos of ln of x upon y. ln of x upon y can be replaced with ln of x minus ln of y. And finally, f of x y is equal to cos of ln of x y and ln of x y can be replaced with ln x plus ln y. Substituting all of these results in the left hand side of the desired expression, f of 1 upon x times f of 1 upon y minus half of in brackets f of x upon y plus f of x y. This is equal to cos of ln x times cos of ln y minus half of in brackets cos of ln x minus ln y plus cos of ln x plus ln y. This is equal to cos of ln x times cos of ln y minus half and in the brackets cos of ln x minus ln y can be expanded to be equal to cos of ln x times cos of ln y plus sine of ln x times sine of ln y. Similarly, cos of ln x plus ln y is equal to cos of ln x times cos of ln y minus sine of ln x times sine of ln y. In the square brackets, the second and the fourth term cancel, and the first and third terms are equal, and therefore the whole expression simplifies to cos of ln x times cos of ln y minus cos of ln x times cos of ln y. The first and the second terms are equal, they cancel, and therefore the given expression is equal to zero.